Have you ever thought that your email signature might be playing a huge part in the success of your cold email campaigns? The likelihood is it probably isn't, to be honest. But there are some best practices that you can do. And of course, it's good to set one that looks good and looks professional and looks subtle and also make sure that you're not harming your deliverability by packing in a bunch of links, a bunch of pictures in it so that you can actually keep your domain score healthy. So let's take a look at where it is that you can actually adjust and edit your email signature from within LemList over to settings, over to sending settings, and you scroll down to the bottom and voila, there you go, you've got your signature. Now, the signature will appear automatically whenever you have this custom variable here in your email. So if you put those particular brackets and then just put the word signature, this is what will automatically appear in your emails. Now, here's an example in a real campaign just to show you. So if you were to put version A and B, for example, version B, I've written it in myself manually. So this will go to every single person and version B has the signature attached, the signature custom variable attached. So when it goes to review and launch, here we have email B, it has the signature custom variable there. And because that's written nicely, that's all written perfectly. That means that the signature that I have in my settings is the one that will send. Now let's look at some best practices just to start us off. So here we've got Lemlister tips. This is on the FAQ as well. So if you type in Lemlist FAQ on Google, what will come up is you'll see this page. And here you've got lots of different things. And if I type in and go to set up your signature, you can see here some best practices. Now in terms of best practice, the simpler the signature, the better. In terms of deliverability, having images, having links, having all of this nonsense here, it looks a little bit 90s, a little bit noughties. It also harms your deliverability because it makes the email heavier. So it makes it harder to pass through. The more images you have, the more links, it makes it easier for you to be marked as spam and for you to be caught by the filters. And instead, the best approach for me is just having a very simple signature, perhaps one link, maybe even not even a link, but just having your name, your title, and then the company that you work for as well. Adding your phone number on there, you don't really need to do that. Even adding your title or your company, it can look professional. You have a play around. If your ICP prefers it, if you're working in a particular industry that requires your title, requires your phone number, requires your work number, go ahead and add it. There's no problem. You can do that within Lemlist. All you need to do is come here and do it. I'm just saying most of the time, you don't really need that. Now, even if we look at my signature here, got my name in bold, pretty simple. At Lemlist is the company. And then I've got a little bit of a slogan. Nothing too crazy. I'm not even crazy about this particular signature myself. I've also got a link for the Outbound Hub because at the time when I was sending out some emails, I wanted to make sure that the Outbound Hub link was there available and that lots of people could click it. But you know what? I might just get rid of that. And I would say that that as an email signature is pretty good. Either way, whatever you would like, you've done it there. Whenever you adjust it, it will come up with a saved option. Change is saved and you know that you're good to go. If you look down here, you can also add the font size. You can adjust all of these things here. You can have some color if you'd like to. Let's say we want to make this blue. No problem. We come along here and we make it a nice blue and that will be in your signature like that. If you wanted to add a link, you just highlight the text, click insert link, and maybe you want to add a link to your LemCal so that they can book a meeting with you. Up to you, but you have the freedom to do it. And then once that's done, you go on into a campaign and you'll be safe in the knowledge that this signature here is the one that will be sent in your campaign. One more thing about the stats, simple non-code signatures have around about a 15% higher success rate in terms of email conversion than ones loaded with complicated code. So go for that. There you go. That's how to adjust your email signature. Want to try it out for yourself? Click the link in the description below.